Well, tonight a new contract has been approved and signed between the city of Seattle and the police officers union. Officers have been working for the past three years without a contract. King 5's Connor Board live at City Hall with the details tonight. Connor. Joyce, I am just outside the council chambers where council members voted 8 to 1 to approve this new police contract that covers 2021 to 2023. Now, this increased pay for officers, and since it's retroactive, they will get the past three years of increases in one lump sum. Eight in favor, one opposed. Thank you very much. The motion carries and the bill passes. A much awaited agreement between the Seattle Police Officers Guild and the city approved. This is a major step forward, you know, not just for uh, the men and women of the Seattle Police Department, but also for our goals of creating a public safety, uh, you know, to create that safe base in our city. Before this contract, Seattle officers ranked 15th in pay for the region, starting at $83,000. Now they'll be the highest paid with a starting salary topping 100000 Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell hopes the contract will help alleviate the department's staffing crisis, the department enduring the lowest staffing level in 30 years. I want them to model the kind of conduct we want to see. I want seven minute response times. I, I want to motivate them and I'm proud of a, a lot of the work they're doing. Community members are concerned certain accountability measures were not included, especially with recent officer misconduct cases. The mayor defending the contract, saying the city will continue to work on officer accountability moving forward. We have to look at what's occurring out there in the field. And what's occurring is good work by our police officers dealing the, with the limit, limited resources that they have. They're not using unreasonable force, which is really what the whole consent decree was about. Uh, and again, we'll look at the complaint process on how that's unfolded. And I'll be the first to say a lot of work can be done in that regard. Well, almost nothing of the accountability ordinance was included in the interim agreement. Joel Merkel with the Seattle Community Police Commission says the accountability part of this contract is not sufficient. He says it's critical more accountability measures are included in the upcoming contract that will include 2024. The Community Police Commission and the community very much wants the accountability ordinance fully implemented so that we can have a more transparent and fair process for holding officers accountable when they do violate policy. The only council member who did not vote in favor of this contract was council member Tammy Morales. She said she felt like this was rushed and felt like there should have been more time for public comment from the community and nearly all public comment on this contract today was in opposition of it, Joyce. And since this covers 2021 to 23, when will a contract for this year be approved? Joyce, Mayor Harrell told me today that right now they're negotiating with the Seattle Police Officers Guild about a contract that would include this year. Back to you. Connor Board reporting for us here in Seattle. Thank you.